Good morning, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. How are you today? Today, uh, <clears throat> so we got our treadmill yesterday. Yay! Maybe not. I don't know. Um, I set it all up, <clears throat> and I mean, I, George helped me get it into the house, and then I did the rest. Uh, he had to go to a job anyway, so, you know. <laughs> it's much easier for me to put things together or do things when George isn't helping. You know? <laughs> Am I right, ladies? Do you have husbands like that? That just, they're, they're not any help, really? Yeah. <clears throat> he tries, but no. Uh, yeah, so we got the treadmill set up and I said, okay, Sandy, this is it. Um, and I talked myself into it. As soon as I woke up, I woke up at 9.30 this morning. And I says, okay, before I have my coffee, before I do anything, just my back was hurting because I get, I'm really stiff in the morning when I wake up. And I thought, nope, just go, just do it. Even if you do two minutes, just do it. I got on there put on my music and started to go. I did 10 minutes. Not great, but it's something. It's a start. My foot, my toe that I had surgery on. Mm, mm, it hurts, but I'm going to persevere. <clears throat> I did notice that I am walking totally different. Um, Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Morning. Uh, and um, I am totally walking different. I am walking very heavy footed. I am not a heavy foot person. Not at all. I am cat like. Um, so, yeah, I've noticed that when I was on the treadmill. Now, one, I know it's because of the weight. But number two, I think it's also because of the way I'm walking now since my foot surgery. Uh, I'm very thump, thump, thump. And I'm just like, oh my God, like this isn't me. And that really bothered me. I was like, oh, this is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> I feel like I'm so old, you know, but. I like, I don't know how I'm going to combat that. Like, I think that's just the way it's going to be. So, but the weight is definitely, I'm very boom, 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 boom. And I'm going, oh, oh, I feel, oh, that, that feels gross. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, this weight's got to come off. Um, <clears throat> and I know that my back and everything will feel so much better once it does. If it does, I hope it does. Please let it come off oh so yeah so we've got it set up in the living room so that it's facing the tv so that i can watch whatever i want i can watch my netflix i can watch youtube i can watch like whatever i want while i'm doing this uh and i it also has um the port so that you can hook up your music to it uh you can even hook up your ipad or whatever so, yeah, this should be fun. Maybe. Yeah. So anyways, that's that. <clears throat> that's five minutes of your life. You'll never get back. You talking about me, my fat ass on the treadmill. Okay, let's get on to something else. Did you see the gift that I got from Sandy left is right? Yeah, I got buttons. <laughs> wow <laughs> i'm just yeah okay uh anyway so i have done a couple of things uh one's an fo one's kind of an fo but kind of not and one is a whip so let's do the kind of fo <clears throat> first um, I 
as you know, if you've watched my videos and if you haven't, go back and check. <laughs> I bought sand, um, Sandy, no wrong. Crystal from Chronically Crocheting's pattern for Mr. Purr's a lot. I did Mr. Purr's a lot. Uh, all the pictures that I put on social media, I was so proud. I was so proud. And then I looked at the pictures closely and I went, I forgot his whiskers. I don't know how to sew on anything like putting lines and stuff on crochet, like no embroidering. I can't do it. I can't do it. It, it, it. I just don't know how, right? I have no idea how the technique is or whatever. So I ended up finding this tassel that I had that was faux leather and I ended up cutting the tassel so that it made whiskers. But anyways, we'll get to that in a minute. I was so proud of myself for my Mr. Purs a lot that I decided that I was going to go back into my patterns from days of old and find this one pattern that I've been wanting to do for a long time, but it intimidated the crap out of me because it's partially an amigurumi kind of sort of. So I pulled it out and I went, I can do this. <laughs> okay. So here it is. <laughs> it's a lovey kind of thingy. I still have to put on the paws and I have to put on the feet and I'm still not even sure if I'm going to do that. But look. <laughs> Now, I don't know, but <laughs> um, is it supposed to be like that? Has anybody done this pattern? <laughs> I don't know if his head's supposed to be like that, but, but he's cute. Look at his eyes. Those are the eyes that I got on Amazon that you can put in different colors. But I thought he was so cute, kind of Snoopy like, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, that like I'm I'm assuming it's just like so that kids can grab it and just do whatever they want. But I'm afraid that this head is gonna come flying off. So I may have to do a couple more stitches in there just to because you can see it's only held on by like three stitches. <laughs> but that's what the pattern called for. And I'm like, really? Like what? I don't know. I, <laughs> I think I may have to put a couple more in there. Just to, it's still going to flop, I think, because it's there's nothing in here. It's not stuffed. It's just, <clears throat> you know, it's like a pajama pant kind of thing on there. I don't know. But I did it. <laughs> so, yeah, he's kind of cute, isn't he? <laughs> OK, so that was my my attempt. Yeah. Okay, so on to Mr. Purrs a lot. If you haven't been on my social media, then you haven't seen it. But I'm very proud of this, uh, I have to say. I did it. <laughs> now the stuffing, I don't know. I'm not a, I, I don't understand the whole stuffing process, but it is what it is. He's lumpy and bumpy. <laughs> <But> <laughs> So, but look at him. Look at his eyes. These are the eyes that I also got on Amazon, but I found out that they're flat back. They're not posts. And actually, uh, a Yarny friend um, on my channel had mentioned that when I posted the links to these. And I was like, what? Oh, crap. And I went and I looked and sure enough, they were flat backs. But that's okay because I have... Um, it's called monster glue, no gorilla glue. And I put those on. Now I didn't put, uh, Crystal puts on a piece of felt underneath her eye. I didn't have any. So I crocheted. Yes, I did. I crocheted the eye part around here. I just crocheted a disc, um, sewed it on and then glued the eye to it. <coughs> So, yes, 
and then these stupid whiskers I think it looked better without the whiskers to be honest but the whiskers are like a faux leather that I just glued on and then there's the tail that tail was a pain in my arse I'll tell you right now I am so not good with sewing small stuff like this my fingers don't work right my <clears throat> you know I had to use a, a smaller crochet hook and uh, so but it I did it and the ears I used um, Karen um, Karen latte for the for the fuzzy ears so that is my Mr. Percival. See, look at he's all bumpy. <laughs> but he's cute. So I am so proud of that. So then I got it in my head that I was going to make another one. And then I had this idea. I was like, oh, that would be cool. And it's not finished. I have I'm at the part where I have to put the eyes on and I'm waiting for the eyes to come in the mail they should be here today so here is the body now if you can see do you know what this is I figured it it might look like fur You betcha. It's Huga. I saw this, I saw all my Huga yarn over here and I was like, oh, that'll look furry. Yes. So I decided to use it. Now, this color is called Latte. And then what I'm doing is I'm going to do the ears and the tail like this. And this color is who, this is also who got, and this color is rust. So I figured that the contrast would be, you know, a really good contrast. So I just have to make the tail on that. I have to wait for the the eyes to come and then stuff it and then I can put it together and finish the top so I'm really excited about this one because I think it's going to be totally adorable totally adorable yes so yeah so that's what that's what I've got going on you guys I can't wait to finish this one I, I did the body last night and I'll tell you, I can't have the TV on. I can't have, I can't have people talking, I can, nothing. Because the one thing I, I noticed about this pattern is you really need to count. And I hate counting anything. But it's done in a round, which I hate doing. I hate doing a round because I lose track and I, I it, it, it becomes a disaster. So I have to really, really concentrate on what I'm doing. I have my stitch row counter thing that I got for free from Hobie. I've got that on my finger. Um, and I'm really looking at each line and counting as I go and using my stitch marker to remember what row I'm on. And yeah, <clears throat> it's, it's a great, excuse me, a great pattern. Um, obviously i love the pattern because i would not have done another one if i didn't it is very well worth getting this pattern and it's inexpensive crystal i cannot believe that you are selling this pattern so cheap but <clears throat> i mean it's it's great it's a great pattern you've got to go check it out i'll leave the link down below again um and it's a lot of fun and go check out her Facebook page chronically crocheting uh, and join because everybody that's making one is putting their Mr. Purs a lot in there and make sure if you make one and you post and you go to post um, a picture of it there's a file 
uh, I think it's a file called Mr. Persilot on her Facebook page and put it in there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> I can't believe that. And I had some people saying to me, uh, on my Facebook group saying, oh, I see a bunch of amigurumi in your future. No, <laughs> no, this one's pretty much it. I mean, look at this. This, this was a kind of a fail. <laughs> oh. But uh, this one I can do because it's just a circle, right? It's, I mean, there's a lot of counting and everything, but, and row nine, I keep getting screwed up on row nine, but now I have written it out so I can understand row nine. Oh. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So, anyways, um, yeah. I will show you, probably in my next video, um, how the second Perzalot, uh turned out. I keep wanting to call it Sir Perzalot. I don't know why. Like, like, what the heck is, I don't know. But it's Mr. Mr. Perzalot. That's P-U-R-R-A-L-A-T. A lot, a lot, I think. Mm. Don't bother, Sandy. <laughs> anyway, okay, guys, uh, I think that's it. That's that's what I've been working on. That's, that's all I've been working on. Uh, <clears throat> I think my next one, <laughs> listen to me, I'm going to make another one. Oh, man. I'm thinking my next one's going to be made out of latte cake. Possibly. Possibly. I'm excited. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go. I just wanted to show that to you guys. And because uh, I know a, a lot of people were asking, you know, so I thought, okay, I'll, I'll show you. So there he is. <laughs> Okay, guys, I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Come back and check out my num day blah, 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 17, 18, whatever the heck we're on for these seasons of New Beginning. And I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.